Hey guys, if you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and click that like button. It really helps our channel grow. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, Nathan Brandon Masters, Night Phoenix Press. As you guys know, we are doing the Hexcraft Mechanics campaign right now. This is issue one, and uh, this is a follow-up to Epitaph Bread and Salt. Now, I wanted to do a series of videos promoting this campaign, but I can't for the life of me find my microphone. So uh, I'm going to be doing this from uh, my iPhone until my new microphone gets here. I ordered one of those little small, um, small little podcasting mics. So uh, I got one of those on the way. But uh, let's talk about Hexcraft Mechanics Issue 1. As the description says, factions of Chicago's supernatural community come to blows over money, power, and vengeance. So if you back Epitaph Bread and Salt, that actually should be hitting your door today or tomorrow. I hope that a lot of you get it today because that would be cool because it's Halloween. You get it on Halloween, that would be awesome. So this book is a follow-up to that and it's the fallout from all those things and if you don't know i'll catch you up chicago supernatural society is broken down into several little groups you have magic cults secret societies supernatural creatures uh you know and things like that so in the magic community either you are uh kind of uh working together with someone or you're working against someone like, uh, you know, if you're maybe a vampire, you might be working against or fighting with the lichens, or you might be, uh, you know, together with the lichens for whatever reason. You might have a mutual enemy, or let's just say the rise of magic in the sisterhood of Lilith. Sometimes they work together, sometimes they have competing interests. And Nadis Talbane is the leader of the rise of magic. Uh, if you have Epitaph, Bread, and Salt, uh, you know what happened uh, with his daughter's private jet when she took off it exploded and now they're dealing with that they're trying to find the body and all that kind of stuff and trying to figure out what exactly happened because they know some foul play was involved now if you've seen the movie you know that Lauren Talbane is a magic adept so they try to keep an eye on her and you know try to keep her in check she likes to go out and party have a good time sex drugs all that stuff not really interested in magic, doesn't even believe in it. You have Dracula, who's on the war path right now. He's angry with Chicago supernatural community. He believes that uh, they had a hand in the destruction of the Vampire Alliance. There was a, a, a group of uh, super-powered vampires. There was a, vampires a little bit more powerful than your normal vampires. But uh, vampires generally are seen as a problem. Vampires, lichens... All those things are seen as a problem, and many people just don't like them. Uh, they're scary, and they're dangerous, and they bite people and kill them. So it's a problem. So vampires don't tend to have a lot of people on their side, even in the supernatural community. And Dracula and uh, Lady Bathory, not not very happy about that, uh, about that situation here uh, in the city. Of course, you know Victor Locke. He has uh, several cases that he's... Uh, Tang, uh, that he's kind of tangled up with as well as decoy. There's a lot of supernatural violence happening, but it's not necessarily possession or anything like that. It's just uh, these these violent acts that are occurring and Victor has to figure out what's going on with that. And decoy is tracking down a corporal succubi. All that's happening in Hexcraft Mechanics. And uh, that's the, the story. It's a three-part issue. It's a three-part story. And uh, it's going to spawn out into other books, other one shots and things like that. And so this really kind of f uh, fleshes the characters out, tell you who they are, what they're about. So that's what the story is. So this is like a, a old school image style heaven and hell story mixed with some bad girl stuff. I'm going to take you through the perks. We have three $25 perks. You have uh, one where you can get the main cover. You can get uh, the second one, you can get the alternative cover. Both of those come with uh, a print, and that's the Zombie Girl print. We're doing this uh, Zombie Girl Reveal print, which you'll see uh, if you scroll through the artwork. And uh, the third perk for $25, you can get both covers, but no print. So uh, we're doing that. Hexcraft Mechanics. For the $35 perk, you can get Hexcraft Mechanics and Victor Lock Demonor 
along with the Zombie Girl Reveal print. And for $50, you can get Hexcraft Mechanics, Epitaph, Bread, and Salt, as well as the Demon Noir uh, book in the Zombie Girl Reveal print. $50, you can get uh, Hexcraft Mechanics 1 signed. So you just get the book, it's signed, it has a print. And for $75, you can get the uh, you can get the Epitaph Bread and Salt uh, a sketch cover. So I'll draw a cover on there, sign it, you get that in a print. And uh, that's actually it. And you can scroll through and look at the art and see uh, what you think about that. Some really nice stuff there. So other than that, guys, that's it. And uh, you can go and check this out. I put a link in the description, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, like I say, we're trying to get uh, 20 backers. I did the the math on that, and we just need 20 backers to kind of shoot up in the algorithm, and then we'll move on from there and try to get uh, as many as possible. Honestly, I did kind of uh, set it up that way so like I could try to flood flood in with the... Uh, you know, flood the algorithm there. But other than that, guys, you take it easy. Back Hexcraft Mechanics. And I'll talk to you guys later. Asta. Don't look back. We're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it. The borderline. Where the future leaves us behind The fire will burn